Listen, Listen brother, I don't talk to my fucking ex-wife. Yeah? I don't talk to my daughter. But I don't walk around with the guilt. Okay. Okay, I let the guilt go, which is what you've done. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't feel guilty about yeah. it. You've accepted it. You know, there's people in life you're going to talk to. You know, I don't talk to Jackie's godmother anymore. Fucking 20 years. 20 years. I haven't talked to people that were my fucking sister and brother-in-law. Sister and brother-in-law over, in their mind, it's over $200. It's my mind. It's about taking sides. They took sides with somebody over me. Mm-hmm. I just never talked to them again. Never. Conversation ended. When Facebook started, she sent a friend, a friend request. I almost stuck my hand to the fucking computer. You know, I'm a yeah. nice guy. I love people. I love having relationships with people. I love fucking around with people. You know, you don't like giggle. Me and the Agostino giggle like girls. You know, me and St- Steve Simone giggle like girls. Me and Josh Wolf giggle. Me and Joe Rogan giggle. Me and Ari giggle. I like to giggle. But there's some part of it, man. Uh, a conversation ends for me. It ends. Yeah. You know, I don't go back. And I feel guilty. I, I should put my hand up. Every day. Every couple of days. If, if, I, if I'm not telling you guys this on the church or Lisa, I am lying to you. Every couple of days, I feel like picking up the phone and calling my... If you don't know anything about me, if you don't know anything about me as a man, if, and if you believe me as a co-host of a fucking podcast that we're trying to set an example here, there's nothing I like to do more than to call my ex-wife and say, hey, man, how you doing, blah, 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 what's going on? But you know what, guys? It's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to... I'm dealing with somebody who tried to cut my legs off. Yeah. There's people in life who make mistakes. As people in life who hit on your wife or they hit on your girlfriend or they call you a faggot or, or, or something, that, that's one thing. But to try to cut your fucking legs off is another. I cannot get myself to, you know, hey, listen, and I'm no angel in this. I'm sure I said things to hurt her feelings, but feelings and cutting somebody's legs off are two different stories. Mm-hmm. Me in my life, I would never cut somebody's legs off unless I was going for them, unless they did something to take me the fuck down. I'm not going to lie to you. I've had gone for people's legs before. You go, enjoy. what the fuck are you talking about? A couple of years ago, I got the Sopranos, but one of the guys on the Sopranos didn't like me, so he went to the producers and said something. That's cutting your legs off. Okay. You don't like me? You don't fucking like me. That's okay. But for you to go out of your way, my ex-wife did everything she could to go out of her way for me to fail. Do you understand me? Mm-hmm. She wanted me to fail to make me look bad in, in, in front of my daughter. Here it is, guys. When I decided to make the move from my daughter to, to conquer comedy, to get into comedy because I had nothing else, part of the thing I was leaving behind in the conquer was my daughter. I was My plan was to communicate with her the way most parents do from out of state. But once I left, I really lost control of the relationship. And even though I called and I sent things, if you guys know anything about me, one thing I do is fucking call. (laughs) For me to give up on calling, it's because it was that bad. It went on. We communicated till 2000, maybe five. So a little before The Longest Yard came out. We communicated with no problems. I mean, it wasn't rosy. It wasn't a rosy relationship. And one day I just decided that for my health, for her health, and especially for Jackie's health, that this wasn't going anywhere because she was getting beat up from two directions. Do you understand? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like if you work for me and my wife, you getting my wife is saying shit to you and I'm saying shit to you. Yeah. No amount of money is worth that, Lee. No amount of money is worth that. If my wife is saying, leave that box there, and I'm saying to put it over there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my wife's a dumb man. If you come in and you get in the middle of it, and that's what they were doing to my my daughter. So I don't want anybody to think I don't talk to her because I'm just a hard-headed fuck. She was in the middle of something bad. She was in the middle of something that a child shouldn't be in the middle of at that age. Who determined that? Me, because I know what a child should be involved in at that age. I was a child at one time. And I know at 14, I heard things I should have never been exposed to. You know, I goof around with you guys how... You know, I was going to Bruce Lee movies and shit at fucking 10 and 9 at that cinema. That's not right. That really isn't right. Kids aren't ready to see fucking Charles Bronson shoot three black people when you're fucking nine years old. You're really not in the fucking mind. I wish you were. Yeah. I wish you were, you know. But uh, 
it just didn't go nowhere. Me being around made the situation worse for her. Mm -hmm. And that's what I decided against. But at the same time, guys, I always kept in touch. I always sent money. My child support's paid. I have my license. You know, I can't travel internationally because of the fucking warrants. That's the only reason why. Not because of passport issues, nothing like that. But I also did something else. I also decided that if I wasn't going to be there to watch her grow full time, I was going to dedicate myself to whatever the fuck I was going to do 150% with her name on it. Mm -hmm. Like all my push is with Jackie's name on it. Every time I wake up in the morning, Jackie's in my thoughts somewhere along the line making me get up. Because I had to prove to her that in the, in the meantime, I wasn't out there drinking like the mother thought I was going to be. Or smoking. See, the mother by now thought I would be dead. Every time they ran that trailer for grudge match over the holidays, she had to see it once, or her parents had to see it once, and her fucking phone rang. She goes right to the drinker or pops 22 fucking pills or, or gets the rope ready because she didn't expect me to live. Right. And that's how I fuck her in the ass on a daily basis. Between you and I, I wanted to kill her. Everybody knows that it's common fucking knowledge. Somebody cuts your legs off. At that state of mind, what I was thinking at that time, I don't know how she got away with it. God fucking shined on me. You know, I'm not an atheist. I'm a Catholic, and I believe there's something out there, but I'm also a Buddhist in mine. I'm also a Cuban Jew, <laughs> and I'm also a Santeria specialist, A101. <laughs> but I do believe that there's something out there stronger than us that directs us. How do I know? When I look at that little girl. When I look at Mercy, yeah. and I look at my sperm sack, and I see that I'm 51, I look at my face, and I see my past, and I look at my wife, my wife is okay, but for me to have something that sweet in their life, there's got to be somebody up there that decided to say, you know what? You earned your stripes, bro. You didn't lose your mind. You didn't shoot a fucking mall full of kids. You gave the blow a fucking shot. I'm going to throw you a little something just to show you life did have some hope to it. Yeah. Life does have hope, man. Life really does have hope to it. Don't fucking ever give up, man. I gave up a lot of times. Physically, I gave up. With just, you know, like when you plug your phone in, and it says you're like 3%. Yeah. That's to the point I was in my life. Fucking many a time, man. I answer the emails. I see where you guys are at. You might be at 3% full, you know? You're ready to fucking tap out. Fuck that shit. Put somebody's picture on that fucking 3%. Make that motherfucker go up to 60 and hit the ground running, bitch. You yeah. know what I'm saying? There ain't no looking back. You know, we've all been at that point in our lives. We're oh, yeah. at 3%, 2% energy left. We're ready to give up hope, man. And it's weird... I might not necessarily believe in a higher power, but for some reason I do believe in karma. Like I, I fuck yeah, karma. I always fuck yeah. I, you ever been spanked by karma? I have. Yeah. I have been spanked by fucking karma. I don't know if it's something that, that you by doing something negative just do feel negative, or or if it actually is something real. But like you said, like I mean, I don't. I, I can see how seeing mercy like there has to be a higher power, but maybe it's just I don't you the the energy you were putting out, and the energy your wife was putting out. It's uh. It is pretty crazy. Every fucking morning, man, I write down before I leave Facebook and Twitter. If you notice, I write, have a great day. Mm-hmm. Anybody could say that shit, but they don't. Anybody right. could say that, but they don't. You know? I say that because I start with those words, or I want those words in my head early in the morning. When people hit me up on Twitter in the morning, we're going back and forth. I'll throw out 15 loves in the morning, and they'll sit there going, what the fuck is he talking about? Because that's all we want to put out all fucking day. I don't even know what love is. You know what love is? What? You have any fucking idea? The word yeah. sounds a lot better than hate. The yeah. word sounds a lot better than cunt. <laughs> the word sounds a lot better than fucking fight and fuck you. Yeah. Love sounds a lot better. When you say love, it doesn't sound that fucking bad. When I say fuck you, even if I say fucking Finny, get the fuck out of the cat food, you know? <laughs> Whatever. You, you follow what I'm saying to you? So all those things just makes your fucking day a lot better. Oh, yeah. It's got to make your day a lot fucking better, man, when you believe, you know? So I believe. I fucking believe every morning it's going to be a great day, you know? It is. Here we go. <laughs> 